Good morning from Weymouth in Dorset. It's Peter reporting for Zip Media. This is the Facebook Live that will shortly go on my YouTube channel. This morning I'm reporting from an event down here at Radipole Gardens. Um, that it, it's like a nature event, all kinds of things going on. We have uh, what I'm going to do is walk down to the end here and then turn around and walk back and see if we can get an interview with one of the organizers. Hi Craig, it's good to see you. I just waved at Craig. Uh, can you hear me? Is my sound okay? Yes? Good. Yeah, it's... Uh, I'll just flip the camera around so we can see what's going on here. Yeah, it's quite busy this morning. I um, came down here. So we are going to walk to the bottom here to the ice cream van and turn around and take a slow walk back. It's becoming a nice morning this morning. So we'll just walk to the bottom here where the ice cream van is and turn and you can see the full range of things that are going on. Hi Weymouth Bell, nice to see you here too. First time you've seen one of my Facebook lives I think. Okay, so we'll scan around and you can get a few, full view of the event. So, let's start walking towards the uh, event. Yeah, I think this was postponed from a little time ago because the weather was so bad. But uh, we have the first aid and lost children here table and they're running a raffle. This is the forest school. So if you're in the area I think this goes on till 3, um, 3 p.m. today about that time so if you're in the area pop down and have a look. Here is how we got the uh, uh, step into nature. Stepping into nature, being close to nature can help boost health, mood, and build self esteem. Yes, it can. I know that absolutely. Some musicians. Let's move on. We've got children painting here. Great, great messy fun, I think. Uh, amphibian and reptile conservation. 
The uh, Dorset Wildlife Trust. Lots of local organisations that are nature based. Yeah. Honey bees. As I say, if you've got a chance today, pop down to Radipole Gardens here in Weymouth, Kingston Morwood College. And the Butterfly Conservation and we also have uh, wildlife here, the Dorset Mammal Group and Haley's Hedgehog Rescue. We got hedgehogs in the garden. And the, uh, dog friendly, dog friendly social, you'll find them on Facebook. You can also find a video I did um, about dog friendly on my YouTube channel. So, hi Andy. Good to see you here. Uh, we have a cake store. <laughs> Fabulous cakes. <laughs> and tea and coffee. Of course. We turn now to the uh, then and now. Why are we doing this? Yes. Hi, Andy. Good to see you. As I say, I'm now at the Radipole Gardens here in Weymouth, where they are having an event to raise publicity for the um, the gardens initiative getting new things here in the gardens um, and these are some of the old pictures Radipole Gardens needs you some of the old pictures um, you can find a lot of the pictures in the book by Sue Hogden here in Weymouth. I'll see if I can get an, an interview with Sue shortly. Is my sound still coming through okay? You can let me know. Yes, it's uh, brightening up much better now. <laughs> so, I, I did a Facebook Live from the park uh, some time ago and that went down really well so I suggested that I do a new one Hi Helen, it's good to see you. Can you tell me if my sound is coming through okay? I'm just walking through the event here in Weymouth at the Radipole Gardens today. If you're anywhere in the area, come down. I think the event is only until about three o'clock or thereabouts. Let's 
get back to the music. Hi Paul, good to see you. So we'll have a walk down to the bottom again and have a turn and then walk and see if we can get that interview. The forest school. Yes. Trees and seas. Hmm. Turn. Closer. Nice. Hi, Mark. Good to see you. I hope my sound is coming through okay. Yes, it's a nice. It was a bit uh, grimy this morning, but it seems to have turned nice now. I believe that Chesil Radio did a Facebook Live from this event uh, this morning. So we can pop by and have a look at theirs too. Hi Mark. And it says good to see you here. Uh, I hope you enjoy my videos. Hi. Hi. How is it going today? Yeah, it's fine, thank you. Yeah, a lot of people didn't know about dog friendly Way yeah, Weymouth in Scotland. Right. Um, so it's been nice to talk to people. Obviously, we're promoting Yellow Dog as well, which right. is something that a lot of people don't know about, which is where um, your dog might need space. And so if they wear something yellow, um, people, people are more likely to understand that um, you know, your dog needs a bit of space to be able to train in poorly or whatever. And of course, we've got new badges. Uh, for a pound donation and right. obviously our stickers as well yeah. and we're promoting um, dogs against all litter so that's not just you know, sort of dog related litter but all sorts of litter so we'd like to clean up our town and keep it clean nice to see you this morning <laughs> nice to see you too thanks a lot yeah that was uh, that was a nice to meet you again hi Wesley Good to see you. So, let's see if we can get an interview with Sue Hobden if we can just find my microphone here. What is this? It's in my pocket. It would be. <laughs> so, Sue. Yeah. How's the event going this morning? Really well. Yeah, yeah, really pleased. The sun's coming out, which is what the people like. Loads of people, lots of little ones come along for the treasure hunt and have a race around the gardens. Lots of people come out to find about the wildlife. 
and uh, all the different groups, Haley's Hedgehog and everybody. So, so what are the groups have you got here? Uh, we got Haley's Hedgehog, Kingston Morwood, uh, we got Linda from Dog Friendly Weymouth yeah. and um, Butterfly Conservation and uh, we the, got the forest. What's, what's the forest school? Uh, well that's a lady, that's really interesting, that's something I really like. She actually gets children outside right. and she gets them doing outside activities. They get out, they get dirty, they're building with logs and sticks and things. Um, so yeah, she's really so interesting. It's, it's, it's getting kids to Yeah, it's getting kids outside outdoors and, and doing things. As they yeah. used to be. Yes, yeah, yeah. And we've also um, got Jules from Stepping Into Nature, who's working on people at the other end of the scale. Uh, the people sort of with the more golden years. And she's trying to get those in the outdoors again and doing things outside. And they've got a, a choir down there and uh, I see they're doing some art bits and pieces down there. So there's lots for everybody, people of all ages. So when do you go on to today? Uh, we go until three o'clock today. Right. And, uh, <laughs> so this was postponed because of the bad weather, wasn't it? Uh, this, the wildlife event was always going to be this weekend, right. but we had an Easter egg hunt, which unfortunately was torrential rain and the gardens flooded. We had to cancel that, but we moved the treasure hunt and the, um, the fancy dress bonnet to today to yeah. combine with this event, um, which thankfully didn't get rained off. No, no, it's not, not too bad. Today. No, sunshine's on the righteous. <laughs> okay, thanks for the interview. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, at least I didn't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I just take another walk down and then go to the door when we get back again. Yeah, oh, thank you ever so much for coming, Peter. That's really, really kind of okay. you. Yeah. yeah, I can, because I'll obviously do a blog about this, but I'll, I can pop your um, ink on it then. So, thank you so much. So, we'll take a final walk down and. As I say, I actually finished at 8 this morning, so um, I had a short rest and I came straight out. Nice to see you, Val Baroness Thorne, another friend on Facebook. So as you heard, this event is going on till 3 o'clock. So if you have the chance, come on down. Just see what's going on in your local neighbourhood. As I say, this video will go on my Facebook feed, my Facebook wall, and then uh, in a little while it will get transferred to my YouTube channel, which I call Weymouth Community TV Online. So look for, if you want to find it, it's very easy. Go to www youtube.com forward slash zipster z z i p p s t e r and if you want to subscribe it's all totally free As I say, it's all totally free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click on the subscribe button and you'll be sure to get all my content. And there will be a little bell icon spring up. Just click on that bell icon too and that will make absolutely sure you get all of my YouTube content. On my YouTube channel you will see lots of things that I do. I produce it all myself. Um, and around there we go I produce it all myself you'll find what I call video walks monologues uh, musical monologues which I love um, interviews with local artists and musicians and all, all kinds of things so go over there as I say it's all totally free um, let me know what you think go to my Facebook uh, go to my Twitter 
I'm at Zipster, Z-Z-I-P-P-S-T-E-R. You can follow me on Instagram, MySpace, uh, LinkedIn, all the other places um, where you can normally follow people. So, I'll say goodbye for the moment and thanks everybody for watching. And as I say, it goes on to three o'clock. So come down and support it. All right, bye for now.